Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Omini X, where today we will be showcasing all of the prototype aliens. I have sat here and I have pressed T 140 times, so let's go ahead and get right into this. We're going to start with the first alien, which is naturally Heat Blast. You'll start off with 10 free aliens, so Heat Blast is obviously the first one. Go ahead and turn into him. This is what he looks like. We're going to go ahead and press his first move, which is Z. It'll just be the ability to fly, there's nothing crazy there. A lot of aliens have have this ability because flying is so essential so you know i just shoot fire out of my hands after that we have my next move i'm gonna go ahead and get on the ground for this where if i press x i will unleash giant fire aoe just like this big old explosion then if i press c i'll just shoot a beam of fire which i can also move around and shoot that unlike the you know explosion there's nothing nothing unique with that i don't know man this is a flamethrower but cooler uh, he blessed as a passive where if I go in the water, I will turn into, you know, uh, you know, this coal he blessed, I guess. But there's also the fact that I can, uh, you know, still use my moves. I'm gonna go ahead and fly over here because there's another variation of he blessed. Oh, I need to find it so fast. I need the, uh, smoothie area. There it is. If we get this and we eat it, if I'm lucky enough, come on. There we go. I'm cold heat blast now. This literally doesn't do anything. I just become blue. The fire effects don't change. I'm just blue. Literally nothing. But it's all still the same. I'm I just look blue. There's nothing unique. I'm I am just blue. Blue, I would but I would die. Oh no, my arm chicks. I'm gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, next up is going to be my favorite alien, Wild Mutt, another one of the default aliens that comes with the Omnitrix. I will turn to Wild Mutt. I'm going to be blind. I have higher speed, I have bigger jump. So we got a small amount of superhuman abilities. First move, we just do a roar. Yeah, there's not much going on there. Then we have a uh, you know, slash, which that looks cool. We do a slash and then the Debris kind of goes like that. And then finally, we have Night Vision. Oh yeah, this is like uh, when he uses his uh, gills to like look closer into people. We detect those around us, I guess. Guys, mind if I just... There we go. Wow, that does not help. They get like a very small green outline. All right, well, thank you guys for being my test subjects. I'm gonna go away now. All right, next up is gonna be Diamond Head, one of Ben's favorite aliens. He's big, he's strong, and he's got a lot going on. So, first move is our fist get sharp. Yep, I said he has a lot going on. See that? And next up, we do a Diamond AoE. Yep. Doesn't even go up to my diamond hands. <laughs> Pretty strong, right? And then what's this? Boom, diamond spikes. Yep, barely goes up to my pants. Mm hmm. Yep, that's strong. Really good, too. And what's worse for the for diamond heads like diamond spikes is we're going to be showing an alien later on who has basically the same move, the diamond spikes thing, but it's giant and better than diamond heads and he's not like even related to diamond head yet he just has a move that's better than diamond heads for no reason so that's great all right next up after diamond head doop, doop, doop. ah accelerate all right let's go and when i say let's go <laughs> i mean let's go <gasps> try and catch me now waving i'm already gone if it isn't obvious, Accelerate's whole gimmick is that he gonna be fast. And when I say fast, I mean real fast. Second of all, he has a passive. When he's running like this, he can run on water. Second of all, his second thing is that guess what? Me, oh, I can't do it while I'm, what? Do it. No. Accelerate, you're making me look bad. We were able to do this before. Why can't we do it now? Ah, uh, what about this one? Right, you can do the third move where he does a spin around in a tornado, but he can't do the second one. Exactly, do the thing. No, he can't use his second move while he's fast running now for some reason. I don't get it. All right, I'm going to go back to the town and use it, I guess. Because that's weird. His second move is just a punch barrage. So, it, you know, whatever. But at the second time, like, why can you not do well running? I mean, I wouldn't be as effective, but... Oh, because they thought I was still holding it, like, permanently. Wait, a... There we go. It's a toggle for Z now. It used to be a hold, so that's why. So if you hold the second move, you do a punch barrage. It doesn't last very long. All right, after accelerate, let's see. Oh. Ugh. All right, so Gray Matter has some 
interesting moves. So first of all, if we press Z, uh, we make a car. You probably could barely hear the little Basically, he has like building sound effects, so first of all, he'll just make a car because Gray Matter's smart. He worked with technology, so they gave him building moves. Oh, there's no underside to this car. Second move, press X. We're gonna make a null void projector. Third move, press C. We'll make a handgun. Wow, this car stinks. Alright, so handgun, it's literally just a gun with a cursor. And just shoot. This is like a really old tool, bro. This is very obviously stolen. And then the null void projector, trigger happy activated. I don't know what this does, bro, but this is something for the old gun. Anyway, the null void projector, bro, look at this. You press this down, and it puts down a little null void portal. You can't aim this, it's really boring, and it just does that. So it's like, useless. I'm not going in the null void, because then I have to turn to gray matter again. The null void's empty, there's no guardians or anything like that. You would just sit there and, you know, hide. There's like, there's literally no, po no point to the null void, so. You know, fantastic, it, no, it's fine. I don't need a null void. I am hiding in the bush because the next alien is ready. So you got four arms, another one of Ben's favorites. He's big, he's strong, he's got three moves. So we got super jump, utility, and we get super smash. Yeah, super smash. He just brings up rubble. And the fun move, super clap. Very interesting moves. He's just, he hits hard, you know, punches. He's just an alien with super strength, nothing cool there. You can uh, use the jump if you're not on the ground, so that's cool. You can break that. Who's next on my list? Dude. Stinkfly. Okay. He is stinky. He is gross. Can you hear that? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah. He flies. He has the disgusting insect wing noise. Yeah, I shoot like three little slime balls. That's gross. I don't really like that. But then guess what? It gets worse. Shoot a giant snot rocket, bro. It's disgusting. It's horrible. It's nasty. And most of all, it's stinky. Okay, stink fly is done. Oop. And here we go. Rip Jaws, are you serious? I need water. So we've got the, uh, the, 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 that, the, that, whatever the, that is. He's got the flail. Then we have the, uh, little double punch from Hanshime no Ippo. Aoki, okay. I need my oasis. There you go. Now the mermaid tail is here. You got a speed boost too. That means I can do this. Yes. Such a useful, flailing technique thank you ripjaws for your graceful amazingness all right cool all right i believe upgrades next because i accidentally pressed that button and showed them yep and uh, upgrade has some cool moves for starters yeah i just turned into a bike there's no need to upgrade i turned to a bike that's that's it i just turned to a bike fantastic uh people can ride on you so we do have that. Then my next move is jet plane. And uh, then now I can just fly anywhere, which is also great. We love this. And uh, that sh that's really all of his moves. Yep, there you go, That that's upgrade. He's, he's upgrade. Okay, next up after upgrade, uh, it's Ghost Freak. Ghost Freak is interesting because I can fly. I can turn invisible, but while I'm invisible, I know clip. So I can just go and meet the map, and I can cheat and look at stuff I shouldn't be looking at. And then aside from that, we have this, where I just turn my head around and unleash the little things from my, uh, my tentacles or whatever. Yep, the tentacles. So I can just, like, walk up to the way big and be like, hey, you know what? <laughs> Bruh. Alright, next up, I believe is our first, uh, like, actual alien. Yes, it is. It's cannibal. So you need level 10 in order to use this guy. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Boom. So cannibal is weird because he has these long legs and that's really gross, but it makes me laugh. So first move, Z. You enter the ball. Cannibal to ball form. That, that's it. That's what you got. If you press X, he kind of just trounces around. That's it. He just jumps up and down everywhere. And then people in it will get hit. 
And uh, C is just a dash forward. And everyone in there will hopefully get hit. There you go. There, there, there's the there's the man of the cannon. The cannon bolt. All right. So after cannon bolt is wild line. Yep. You get him at level 20. These guys should just increase in increments of 10. So first move is all oh, explosive things on the ground. Oh my. Oh my. Wasn't that serious though. And then our next move. Oh. I go into dirt. Dirt man. And my third move. So I throw the explosive seed. Oh no. Bro, it's really not that serious. There was Wild Vine. Okay, Blitz Wolf. Level 30. Alright, so first move is we got Super Jump again, which is used for agility. We have a Silent Roar. Just as that. And we have. Oh, a normal dash. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, no, that, that's it for Blitz Wolf. Freezes. I'm just stronger. Wow. Okay, so now we've got the Snaro. Let's see, where is he? He's kind of weird. Okay, watch this. So you've got our second move, which is this, like, go forward punch. And then we have Z, which is a punch. And then C, which is another punch. Oh, it's a teleport punch. Huh. Okay, that makes it more interesting. Oh, it's not spammable now either. Okay. Well, weird. Because Snare will probably... Oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't ragdoll or stun or anything like that, no. Huh, weird. I thought he, like, would do interesting stuff because he's Snare, and usually games have a lot of fun with him, but no, he's just Snare. Alright, so next we've got Frankenstrike at level 50. There we go. Alright, what do we got? We got an Electric Wave Shock. Electric AOE. Do it again. Uh, X and C are just the same move. Alright, so Frankenstrike is a copy paste alien. Alright. Okay, now, level 60, we got Upchuck, who freaking stinks because guess what? To the surprise of no one, he can't eat anything. Mmm, Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? I put a bit of wine in it. So we just have. Backflip, fire shot, and energy beam. Yep, yep, that's it. We just, he's just an energy shooter. Next up is I Guy at level 70. All right, there he is. He's got a weird model. Yeah, it's very gross. All right, guess what he does? That's right. He fires a beam, then a big beam. Big ol' AoE, then a bigger beam, and that's I guy. Okay, so now we have one of the more famous aliens. We've got way big at level 80, which is weird, but hey, here he is. He's way big. Guess what? Way big is way big. Why am I so fast? Why do I jump so high? Okay, whatever. First move. Um, okay. Oh, it makes me faster. Okay. So I just get more speed if I press Z. Then X. Stomp. And then C should be a big beam. Yeah. Why does Wavy get super speed? Yeah, so I can run on water with that. Wow, Way Big is very fair. Just be sitting here mind your own business and all of a sudden giant titan be like, boom. Oh. There you go, into space. Goodbye, world. Alright, so we just had way big, right? So the next alien has to be crazy. Obviously. That's right, it's Ditto, level 90. So Ditto, he can clone himself. I don't know how many times, so I'm just gonna kind of run around Z. I don't know if this is infinite or not, but... Yeah, he can just keep cloning himself for his first move. There you go, they start despawning. If I press X, they just go away. My own choice, like, eh. X gets rid of them. And then C will just, oh, C's just a punch. That's useless, I already have a punching move. All right, so after Ditto is a surprising alien, 
we actually have feedback. So let's see, there it is. So he was shown on reverse as being an original series alien, so we got him. We're gonna have a zapping move right there. Oh, my wires go off, that's cool. We have a electric AoE right there. And then we have an electric dash, so all kind of basic moves. Feedback's pretty cool. It's nice to see that he is in the game. At level 110, we have one of my favorite aliens, the Megawatt Bajak. Where is he? There he is. We got a few electric aliens, huh? Yeah, his first move is flying around. He's very tiny. He actually is... No, he still looks like a Duracell battery. We got an electric uh, dash and an electric AoE, so... Very basic like all the other aliens, the electric AoE is really bad because he's small. It is what it is, they uh, give him what he, they give him and uh, works out or it doesn't work out. Level 120, we have one of my favorite aliens, so we got another good one. We've got Artiguana, the ice iguana, whatever, I don't really know what he counts as, but probably a lizard. So we have some ice breath right here, looks awesome, and we have the next move which is this ice like pillar thing all right this is a move diamond head should have okay ice like diamonds look forward right and then boom c move giant ice aoe around us these two moves should belong to diamond head yet here's artiguana taking his thunder completely unfair completely unjustified but i respect the disrespect then we have spitter at 130 30, if I'm thinking correctly, let's double check. Boom. Yes, it is 130. Here he is. Another one of the cooler aliens for me. First move. I shoot a little acid pew pew, a little acid breath. Then I have my little snot rockets and then my giant acid explosion thing. So just a slightly better sting flyer. Slightly worse, I guess, in this case, because this uh, first move is not as good as flying, if I'm being perfectly honest. So hopefully he does more damage. Otherwise, he is uh, kind of fringe in that aspect. Okay, the final alien of the original series watch is none other than Clockwork. He is unlocked to level 140, so let's go ahead and turn into him. And uh, he's pretty cute. It's like the first time I've seen Clockwork in the game. And let's go ahead and see what he can do. So his first move, he'll grab the giant gear in his head and spin around. Uh, okay. He shoots a giant beam in the air that unleashes an AoE around us. He says spin it, but he doesn't really spin it. Okay. Then we have a beam and then a ball that will trap a player inside so they can't really do anything. It doesn't work on us though, which makes sense. Okay, so, looks like you want to trap them in the thing and then start winding your uh, gearhead, so, cool. Anyway, yeah, that's everything for the original series watch. As always, hope you all like the game, favorite the game, the comment, subscribe, all good stuff, and as always, I will see you all in the next video.